Byron, do you know you're a star on my vlog? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. People love Byron. I want to thank all my fans <laughs> for supporting me. I've been abused <laughs> my life. Mm. Have you ever feared that I was going to die and that you would be single and you would have to start dating again and you would never be able to find someone as good as me? Yes. Yes or no? I don't know what the hell that's supposed to mean, but sure, yes. You've... You've thought about that. To what extent? I don't think very much. I have a very poor thinking capability. You do? Mm -hmm. How'd you become a dentist? Oh, you know. Talent. Is that what you said during your dental school interview? No. Oh, you know. Talent. How was your dental school interview? Please tell everyone. She said... Who said? So my interview was with the director of admissions, actually. She goes, you did well in graduate school. I said, yeah, I did. She goes, what happened in undergrad? <laughs> I joined an Asian frat. I said, <laughs> I said, I joined a fraternity and I drank a lot. <laughs> she's, like, she's like, you gonna have that problem here? I said, I don't think so. And I got in. <laughs> she believed you. Where else did you get into dental school? In the first round of interviews, NYU offered me an interview. It was in September. I know I got one at USC. So basically, you only got an interview at the most expensive schools in the country. Yep, USC and NYU. <laughs> Your mother must be so proud. She thinks you at NYU is the top dental school in the, in the country. I'm sure you told her that. Apparently, no, I didn't tell her that. People told her that. I go, they're wrong. But people say that about all dental schools. Like yeah. they say that about Harvard, no Columbia, USC. They say that about all those because all those schools have like a reputation already, but they don't really know what the dental school's actually like. There's no ranking. There is no ranking. No. So it's like hard to say. I think there are reputations though. Well, I have my opinion on, on students that graduate from certain universities based off of what I've seen. And my U students are pretty good. According to? What I've seen. According to you? Are you trying to talk about yourself? You're wearing your NYU sweatshirt. <laughs> Everyone that I know that went to NYU is good. Right. And how many people do you know in your class, given the class size? What's the class size? I know everyone in my class. How big is the class size? 300. That's really ridiculously big. It is. So there's no way that you know everyone, and there's no way that everybody is, good, is a good clinician. No, I think most of them are. Just because you pass doesn't mean you're a good clinician. and does, It I doesn't think. mean that you were supposed to pass. I've just seen the work of people in my class, and I thought they did a good job. You've probably seen the work of people who are at the top of your class. There's always, in any private school or any dental school, there are people who are really good, and there are people who are really not so good. Okay. What's your point? There's a spectrum. You can't say that everyone is good at a certain school. Byron, mm. would you let our children become dentists? No. Why? It's a bad profession. Why? It's not fun. You don't like it? I... I would... If I had a, It's not that I don't like it. I just... I would choose another profession. Herc! Hey! Come up! Come on! Up! Oh, he did it! Hi, Herc! He's worried. He's worried. He thinks mommy and daddy are fighting. Stop! <gasps> Ooh, taco night. Okay, I'm gonna warn you. It's delicious. This spicy. Spicy shit. It's so good. Put only a little bit in. The jalapenos are spicy. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Do that again. Slow. Mm. <laughs> I got the mild sauce of the soap. Why'd you get mild salsa? What we can take the heat. We can take it. No, this is really, this is spicy. Woo. 
me and Byron had a good dental day today. It's not always like this. A lot of times we're getting shat on. <laughs> Don't you think? Come on, Byron. Let me let me let you brag about what, what happened to you today. Anyways, I'll go first. So I posted about Smile Virtual today, and one of my patients that I did like a whole bunch of veneers on, she commented, she said, you've changed my life. You've changed my life. I love my smile so much. I was skeptical at first, but so happy I submitted my photo for a virtual consult. Do you know, do you guys know what that feels like? Changed their life. Okay, I'm done. It's your turn, Byron. I got a good job for you. Woo! Tell them, what did it say? They said, thank you, Dr. Kim and your team. You're awesome. I'm so happy with this place. I'm not scared of the dentist anymore. Oh my God, Byron, that's amazing. Not scared of the dentist anymore. The Kim Kongs are taking dentistry by storm. The Kim Kongs. Byron's a Kim, I'm a Kong. Come here, come here. I'm at 1K. Have fun! Boom! You care? You care? Do you care? Do you care? Good job. The question would be, well, do you make their bike fit with the condyle seated? Do you use the bike they have? And if we're honest, the majority of dentistry done in the world is what's called conformative dentistry. So this is our third day in a row of having Mexican food, but not complaining, I'm happy. This is a funny show. Never Have I Ever is the name of the show. It's so funny. It's by Mindy Kaling. It reminds me of Never to All the Boys I Loved Before. It's like a love story, kind of teenage angst. I did it. I worked out every day of April. Am I skinnier? No. <laughs> if that's what you were wondering, Herc and I are gonna go to um, pick up some N95 masks. So we're driving to Santa Ana to pick up those masks. I'm also gonna call Janice, um, talk to Kiara. I think she's down to come back. I'm gonna see if Janice wants to come back. I'm planning on doing a soft opening. So I'm not bringing everyone back in the beginning. I'm just bringing back, like I'm opening one day and then having just an assistant and we're gonna deliver crowns and keep the traffic very, very low. We're gonna step up to a full opening. I don't think I'm gonna have hygiene until June. Uh, I just wanna make sure that we're keeping everyone as safe as possible, so. Right, her. Okay, I finally made it. <laughs> I couldn't find it. Even though it's quite easy to find, but I'm geographically challenged. Okay, Herc, you stay in the car while mommy goes and gets this stuff. Anyway, this is where I'm at. The AOC resource. Use your elbow. Oops. <laughs> okay, I just picked up the mask. Herc, Herc, I can't bring you anywhere. Anytime I leave the car, he pushes this emergency button and then the car goes wah, 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 until I come back. He's actually a lot smarter than people give him credit for. Aren't you? I'm the queen of being underestimated and you're the king. <laughs> okay, anyway. Oh, N95, so it's 40 masks, so that's good. Awesome. Now, we'll go home now. I'm opening this package from Coco Floss. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at all those little Coco Flosses. <gasps> what it feels 